Ciao mundo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mond. We're here today with a special session of Cappuccino with Claudio Ronco at our International Arena Research Institute in Vicenza. And we have two special guests, uh, Silvia De Rosa and Stefano Carboni Cacci, who are intensivists and they have developed a very special new device for managing uh, ventilation in critically ill patients. So, uh, Stefano, can you explain the characteristic of the new device, especially in light of the fact that uh, we might apply non-invasive ventilation or invasive ventilation? This seems to be kind of a compromise. Okay, this is the spritz tube. Uh, the spritz tube is a, a, a tube that uh, combines the uh, extraglottic uh, world devices and the orotracheal intubation. It consists in a, a tube of silicone uh, with two cuffs that are joined by a flexible tab. The distal one, the distal cuff, is uh, thing to seal the esophagus, and the proximal. So this goes into the into, esophagus. Into the esophagus. And you close the esophagus. How you do that? Uh, because you, when uh, enter into the esophagus, you cuff the. You can inflate you, the. You cuff. can inflate with uh, a separate uh, line. Okay. And stop the, um, the possibility of regurgitation okay. and uh, allows that the pressure um, goes the air directly directly into the trachea. The proximal uh, cuff uh, seal the oropharyngeal um, uh, area uh, proximal to the epiglottics. Okay, so allows uh, to uh, ventilate the patient okay. in extra. In extra so people. when you inflate this cuff, <laughs> this avoids that air goes back goes outside. Back. Yeah, and this goes directly into the in, trachea. Into the, into the trachea. I'm sorry, I'm a nephrologist, yeah. so I, I must understand. Yeah. You know? So you can put the um, two position in the spritz tube. You need a, a spindle uh, that rigid and. Allowed to <coughs> maintain the two cuffs in the same line and cross the oropharyngeal um, area. So you put in the in blind way, or if uh, you uh, you find some difficulties, you can uh, uh, help yourself by a laryngoscope to put the distal one into the distal cuff into the esophagus. Then remove the spindle, and the two cuffs are. Uh, free to move. Okay. okay, so basically, this is in the esophagus yes. and it closed the esophagus. This is, in this is closing the pharynx. the pharynx and this goes not into the tracheal but just the air goes yeah, inside. Yeah, only the air in the first step. Okay. Then uh, the spritz tube is um, the only device that allows the intubation uh, by turning itself in intraglottic device. And it's possible to um, through, through push the proximal part into trachea. Okay, so here is the trachea. You yeah. can go push in and, and, and go inside the trachea. Okay, and perform the intubation. And uh, this is possible with uh, a simple laryngoscope. Uh, you deflate the proximal cuff, uh, pr um, perform the laryngoscope and push it into trachea. Or, is uh, better, uh, if you use the um, fiberscope, you put the um, fiberscope through the uh, proximal part okay. uh, without losing ventilation okay. and uh, the fiberscope goes inside, goes, goes inside cross the, the proximal part and you know exactly and where when you find carina the, um, the fiberscope is uh, the help to yourself to intubate the patient and when this is in the trachea, do you have to inflate the okay. cuff? Okay, you inflate again the cuff okay. uh, with, um, by pressure. You check the pressure the, to avoid uh, damage uh, the trachea and then uh, the, the intubation is performed. And at the end you can remove the distal cuff from the esophagus to have a only tube, our tracheal tube, as we are so this is a fantastic compromise that allows you to manage airway in a different possibilities depending on what is needed without substituting a tube. And theoretically speaking, the name spritz tube, uh, which is uh, a 
simpler way to say this is very easy to be done like uh, drinking a spritz we might say like drinking a cappuccino yeah. so i would like to congratulate uh, uh, you guys for uh, putting together such a device uh, and uh, we expected to have uh, uh, an easier management of airway ventilation uh, in uh, uh, several patients uh, with the possibility that not only the intensive care physician use this but possibly yeah. like we use for the mask also uh, physicians from different specialties and this probably will improve uh, 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 outcomes in our patient with this i thank you very much for joining today cappuccino and have a wonderful wonderful day